I wanted to talk about my final thoughts on the book Armor Bear. This is the last video. I could have went more in detail in the book, but it just just uh, pretty much the same thing over and over again. And that's that's the way brainwashing works. Works the same thing over and over again in a slightly different way. But the book. I'll be honest with you, when I began reading it several months ago, I opened it up. On the second page, I got sick at my stomach and just got rid of it. And then later on, I had people asking me about it, people talking about it. So I looked into it and found some of the things that that I, I shared with you. And I... I I didn't in detail look at the book or go into the book. I just I just sort of skimmed through it and I saw those things that I brought to you. But I, I don't want to get the wrong idea across about me. A lot of people's going to see those videos and see the book and people that like the book are going to say, well, that guy just does not want to submit to authority. And that's where you're wrong. That's where you're wrong. I don't mind submitting to the authority of God, number one, and I don't mind submitting to authority that's worthy of me submitting to, uh, an authority that I know and trust and has proven themselves to me that is going to lead me in the right direction and not use me and abuse me for their own good, for their own pride, for their own power, so that they can be lifted up and exalted so they can feel good. That's that's my deal. Now, I've, uh, I've got a history. You know, I've, uh, the last six months I've worked for hospice, and the man that, that trained me is a, an, a pastor that's older than me, and everything that he told me to do, I done it just as he said to do it. I had confidence in him. He had worked the position several years, pastor to church, and I, I had confidence in what he was telling me, and I followed him, and now I have been very successful in the ministry of hospice because I, I took what he told me to do, and, and I done it. So that's what I'm saying. It is, it is good to submit to authority in your life and I pastored for several years and myself if I read that book I would be embarrassed to give that book to someone in my congregation it, it just wouldn't feel right to me and the book it, it's manipulative and like I said it lifts up man and to a level that man shouldn't be when I pastored a church and even now being in the full-time ministry now I want to serve and do more for the people that that are under me when I when I pastored the church I wanted to serve and work and do more for the people that were under my authority than they did for me that's just that's just what servant leadership is and that's not what this book teaches so if you've, if you've read the book and you like the book, maybe you should reread it and say, well, what is the motive of this book? What is the motive of the person that wants me to read this book? What's their motive? Why? Is it really for the kingdom of God or is it for them? Is it to exalt and lift them up? And even if it is to say to win souls for the kingdom of God? Is it so they can say, well, I, look how many we've got. Look at the size of our church. Look, is it for them or God? You can tell if someone is sincere in their heart by what they are trying to get you to do. And by this book, it just puts a bad taste in my mouth. And uh, the, the confidence that I have in this man is zero. Zero. Not only because of his background, but because of what is said in the book. And as I said, there's many people, many preachers that would not let this man up behind their pulpit to preach, but they'll take his book and preach it to everyone else. 
two-faced. What you see here is you see someone who says, well, I like this book and I like what it says and I want my people to live that way, but they've compromised because of the way that the man lives. So take a good look at this, evaluate, look at your life, look at what's being said in the book, look at the manipulation, look at the deceit, look at the mask that's been put on. And remember, the Bible says, I believe it's the center verse of the whole entire Bible, Psalm 118 and 8. It says, put no confidence in man, but trust in the Lord. And that's what I want to tell you to do, is trust in the Lord. And later on in the videos, I'm going to get into uh, some of the things of God-appointed leadership and the difference between that and people taking a vote and just saying, well, this guy seems like he's pretty good. Let's put him in there. But I hope that these videos have helped you and blessed you and maybe even opened your eyes to some of the deceit that goes on for money, for power, for glory of man. Tune in because there will be more videos coming on toxic leaders, narcissists, and John Bevere's undercover, the shep heavy shepherding and the shepherding movement things like that because we don't want man in control we don't want man in power because that's when it's going to fall but we want god in control and the holy ghost to lead and guide and direct thanks for watching today